talent sprint series on most frequently asked coding questions. In the series, we are taking a look at a variety of questions that have been asked over the years in interviews as well as written exams. We'll not only find the solution to the problems that have been asked, but we'll also give you tips and pointers along the way to improve your coding style and make it more professional. After all, who doesn't want those brownie points in the interview? In today's video, we are going to take a look at one such most frequently asked question. Program to check if the given number is prime. Let's start by understanding what prime numbers are. Might not need an introduction, but still. A prime number is a natural number which is greater than one and which has just two factors, one and itself. For example, 19 is a prime number since it has only two factors, one and itself. On the other hand, 28 is not a prime number as it has multiple factors. Now let's take a look at a basic program to find out if a number is prime. As you can see in the slide, we have written a function is prime that is taking the number to be checked as the input parameter. Inside our function, we have the variable f count. Now what do we need this variable for? This f count variable is going to hold the number of factors of the current number. So by the end of the program, if f count comes out to be 2, which means the number had just two factors, one in itself, which leads to number is prime. If the f count comes out to be greater than 2, that means the number is not prime. Now what we have done is we have created a for loop that iterates from 1 till the number. Now in the for loop, what we are doing is, we are iterating it from 1 till the number. And in every iteration, we are dividing our number by i to check if it is divisible by any number. So for example, in the first iteration, whatever the number is would be divisible by 1. So this condition would come out to be true. And we'll add 1 to the f count. Similarly, when we reach num in the final iteration, we'll add one more count. And also along the way, if there are any more numbers which result into division of the number, we'll simultaneously be adding those counts. Now, once this loop completes and we have our final f count, we have written a simple if-else construct to check if the f count is equals to 2, we return true, which means our number is prime. If the f count is not equal to 2, we are returning false, which means our number is not a prime number. So we saw how to write a very basic program to find if the number is prime or not. Now this program will very well get you the results, but we are all about finding the improvised way to make your coding style better and look more professional. In our next video, we are calling in our technical head and coding expert Mr. Ashokan to throw some light on this very program and tell you how and why you should make this program even more better, tweak it a little better to get some brownie points in the next interview of your choice. After all, which interviewer doesn't like a better written code? If you have any more questions on this program or on the series or you want us to take up any more questions, please feel free to drop a comment below or leave a mail at the mail ID mentioned on the screen. Thank you and happy coding.